from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Thursday, June 15th. So today we will see the moon in Taurus energy go void, of course, at 9.36 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be locking into Gemini energy 9.46 p.m. So, of course, entering into the Gemini energy is setting us up for the new moon in Gemini that we'll be having here on Sunday. And so we will feel that transition that we always feel from an earth energy to an air energy, which is a welcome one. It means that things are getting lighter, things are getting brighter, we aren't as kind of shoved and grounded into our physical bodies as we were with the moon and Taurus. But we are going to be moving up into that mental plane, adding a lot more movement, a lot more processing into our thoughts, into our ideas. And with some of the aspects taking place here today, we are definitely going to take on a little bit more of a negative Nancy vibe. There are 10 different aspects here today and seven of them involve the moon. First, we have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, ruler of communication, who is in his place of power in Gemini while also ruling over Gemini season, making an aspect with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings. Now, Jupiter is in Taurus energy, trying to ground us out, be very present in the here and now, analyze our routines, relationships, money matters, really recognize where we're not feeling so safe so cure stable in those foundations in order for us to get those wheels a turning in our mental plane to come out with a new plan a new strategy a new vision a new dream a new goal on what it is that we want to build in the place of the things that are no longer working for us the moon will then interact with Saturn and this is a positive interaction which is going to help us be very realistic very practical very logical if you will on what it is that's weighing on us now this is a positive aspect but we do have to understand that sometimes we have to feel the pressure we have to feel the conflict we have to feel the discomfort if you will on some topics and themes before we can actually arrive at a solution the moon interacting with Saturn in this way is definitely going to bring forth the roles and responsibilities that we have currently on our plate, the obligations, the commitments that we've already made, and seeing where it is that maybe we can take a different approach to fulfilling our current obligations without it essentially sucking the life force energy out of us. The moon will make an interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer, and this particular aspect is definitely going to bring in those negative narratives, those Debbie Downer type of vibes. We do have a little bit of a time to sit in the funk. Of course, we're moving into the new moon window, and the new moon is the dark moon. There is no illumination in the sky, which forces us to sit in the darkness with our thoughts, with our emotions, with our problems. We have to sit in that discomfort, in that discord, in order to figure out what the problem actually is and where it is that we have to actually start solving them. The sun in Gemini energy will make a positive interaction with Pluto. Pluto, of course, the great transformer himself, retrograde in this Capricorn energy, putting the weight on our shoulders, putting us in a perspective to look back at the past, realize what it is that we failed to bring to a solid completion, where it is that we have to boss up to kind of taking control over our lives once again. And of course, the sun in Gemini is offering us two very different choices, different directions, different options that will become more and more clear as we get to this new moon in Gemini that, of course, will illuminate one more favorable path over the other, again, mostly due to other options being kind of closed out, being removed off of the table of consideration. The moon will come up to bump into conjunct Uranus, who of course is in this Taurus energy. This is going to bring a jolt into our physical bodies, a electrical surge, if you will, in our central nervous system. Now this could manifest as anxiety, as restlessness, or it could be excitement. It could be an epiphany. Either way, there is a shock, there is a jolt to our system, especially where our emotions are concerned on recognizing where it is 
that we've been resistant to change, where it is that we've been hesitant to actually boss up, take control of our lives and start digging ourselves out of the hole, out of the pit that we are now realizing we got ourselves stuck in. Now, this can be a positive interaction for us and really see where it is that change is needed the most. And with that, have an aha moment, have an epiphany that will lead us to seeing a different plan or strategy actually take form in order to get us away from where it is that we're at and closer to where it is that we desire to be. The moon will interact with the sun, and this is going to be an overlap, giving us a particular choice point, a decision point, if you will. The moon, very representative of the past in this Taurus energy, very content to stick with the same old, same old, even though we're very uncomfortable with the same old, same old, because, of course, in Taurus energy, we're very resistant to change. The sun being in this Gemini energy is illuminating two very different paths, different choices, different directions and moving forward. The sun, typically speaking, represents our future, while the moon, typically speaking, represents the past. And what we're left with is the present moment, seeing the overlap between what needs to end, what needs to die and what needs to begin and what needs to grow. Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, will get into the boxing ring and square off with Saturn. This is definitely when the negative Nancy narrative is going to be alive and well. First of all, this is going to make us feel like we are unable to express ourselves with confidence, with clarity. We may be having miscommunications, misunderstandings because of it. There are some heavy topics weighing on our headspace, on our hearts space and the tone is a little bit somber a little bit serious the issue is is that we have to sit in our problems we have to sit in our discomfort and our difficulties in order for us to actually kind of arrive at a solution point it feels like it may be a little bit hard uh, blocked challenged, if you will, to move ahead, to think clearly, to gain the clarity, the validation, the confirmation that we are looking for. Um, We may be highly sensitive, very triggered, very activated by any kind of outside criticism, outside comments, opinions on our current life situation. It feels like we are very irritable, like we might not have the kind of patience and understanding that we need to be having. And instead, we're kind of all cluster effed up in that mental plane. There's a lot going on and it just seems like we're overwhelmed and any more stimulation than we currently have could really set us off. Um, But we do have to kind of understand that we have to sit in the negative. We have to sit in the darkness, if you will, in order for us to have a little bit of a reality check on what it is that we have to do to break away, to break free of some of the restrictions that we are currently facing. The moon will make an interaction with Venus. Venus, of course, rules over this Taurus energy. Venus, though, in Leo energy, the heart and soul of the Zodiac, this is definitely going to, I'm going to say, fire us up, get us all riled up in in the right kind of ways, especially sitting in that mental cluster effery. Uh, We really have to dive into that heart space and really recognize what it is that our heart is telling us what our heart is kind of leading us into versus what it is, of course, that the mental plane is having a hard time sorting out. This is why it's very hard to get our heart and head on the same page, especially in Gemini season, because that divide is needed. We need to feel that separation between our heart and our head in order to understand where it is that our ego is fighting for control. We know that because the ego wants logical, practical sense. While the heart space makes no logical, practical sense at all, we just have an intuitive knowing that it is the right thing to do. So we are going to really kind of arrive at what it is that our heart is asking us to pursue. The moon will sextile with Neptune. Neptune, of course, in his place of power in Pisces energy. 
the Taurus and Pisces energy works very well together, seeing as the Neptune and Pisces energy draws inspiration, draws imagination, fantasy, dreamlike qualities and characteristics, downloads us with a vision, with a dream, with an insight on what it is that we want to bring to life, what it is that we want to pursue. And of course, we have a very, very good ability to do so with the moon in Taurus, because emotionally speaking, if we can kind of get the vision right and back it with the proper emotion, the Taurus energy is how we bring energy into form, bringing it into manifestation, into fruition, into this reality. The last thing that we got going on here today is the moon in Taurus making its very last aspect before going void, of course, and shifting into this Gemini energy. And that is the moon trining Pluto. So the moon in Taurus energy trining Pluto being retrograde in Capricorn energy gives us this earth on earth action. And there is a major change and transformation taking place in our emotional realm. Pluto, of course, kind of reminding us on where the heaviness is, where the weight is in our life, where the serious topics are, where we feel blocked, where we feel challenged. And that moon in Taurus wants us to stay so ever present in the here and now and really focus on where safety and security and stability is needed in our lives that we are going to have a true change of heart. This is the beginning of us seeing the actual answers, validation, confirmation emerge that will be really hitting home under that new moon in Gemini. 